All right, back in for a sort of track guide, not really, more a story of how I almost didn't get gold. I'm not gonna pause it uh, to show you breaking points or turning points or any of those things. I'm just gonna let this lap flow as long enough as it is. And to be honest with you, I'm no expert, so as you will soon find out, but I have managed to just about sneak gold for now. Awkward little section at the start there, gotta get on that throttle early. Look for this little sort of tarmac road there. Use that as your breaking point. Bring it over nicely to the curb, back on the power, ease off, second gear, float it to this apex, hit it as soon as you get touch that apex, floor it out nice and wide. Head down to this hairpin now, and you can leave the brake into just where that little grey bit starts on the side, and then don't hug the inside too much. I could have gone throttle earlier, run out wide to the runoff, and then bring it over here, cut it in in fourth, I do a slight lift, top guys don't, you can cut quite a lot on the inside of that corner, bring it back over to the right, there's another bit of the track here which you can use as your breaking point, flip it in in third, and then if I remember rightly I make a mistake here, yeah, yeah, it's just wavered wide there, so I've lost three, four tenths just in that corner, anyways, heading down to the chicane now, it's in a different location to what you're used to if you just do this track, so it's a slightly different layout, much faster, later break in somewhere around that last break in board. I do it in fourth, kind of have to ease off the throttle a little bit and then immediately into braking so you can join the Norge life proper. Uh, you can take a little bit of a wider line just after the uh, exit of the pits there and you've just got to absolutely floor it through this section. You've just got to be balls to the walls. This little thing, I, I do a slight lift through that corner. I think the top guys just floor it through there. I find it quite difficult hit the brakes for this one a bit early, come off them again and then bring it back over in third gear. This next section I leave it in third. There's a lot of time through this if you can get the flow right. Don't be afraid to use that little bit of kerb. And uh, also the same here, cut onto this kerb on the inside so you can floor it for this next section. I get a little bit of wheel spin and it's cost me a bit of time again. Now we're into a nice long flat out section where we can have a little think about what we're doing. This next corner there's just the slightest of lift throw it in here, see there, a little lift, back on full power, and you can keep this pinned now pretty much all the way to the next big braking zone. Uh, so we've got a little bit of time to just relax, take stock of how the lap's going so far. And this is quite a tough one to get right, you've got to really hold on here. And then where that curve ends on the left, it's got to brake really hard. I probably could have maybe braked a little earlier, got tucked in a bit better for exit. It is what it is. Now you've got this downhill section, you can keep it pinned all the way down here. And when we start coming back uphill, we're going to have this fast left hander. It's just one downshift and a flick to the left. And then hit the brakes hard. I probably could have done this a little bit better. And then into second, bring it back over to the left, cut over to the right, and you can run out quite wide on the exit. Probably could do more than that. Uh, awkward little section here because there's an ever such a slight left and then this next left you need to lift for and then you're quite early on the brakes actually for this one down to third bring it over to the right and then pin it and then you've got this awkward right hander here downhill kind of get it in and then on the throttle as early as possible you can run it out wide here carry the speed down the hill floor it through this section keep it flat keep it flat and then just lift in fourth and ease it through this next section. and get on the power as early as you dare. And then this next right-hander, break first and then break again. Down to second, awkward little corner, get on the throttle really early again, try not to wheel really spin too much second gear coming out of there. And then this next bit, you can actually break it later than I usually think you can, somewhere in here. Keep it in third. Now, super important on this uphill right-hander, don't clip the curb on the inside. Stay just wide of it and get on the throttle as early as you can. Nice long straight down to a really awkward corner, which I still can't get right. I know there's time in here. And it's really important that you nail this exit because you're gonna carry the speed a long way around the track. This is a big, long flat-out section. Not much to talk about here, so, um, so far I've made a few mistakes and you know I know obviously I'm probably six seven eight seconds down on what is possible around here but this is the best I can do I, I put in maybe 
eight nine laps tonight and uh, yeah this is where we're at uh, so we've got a very fast left hand here I gave this as much as I did on this lap and then this right hander I think you can take it flat I don't right then hard braking now down into second gear on this right hander and somewhere else where I probably could have made up a bit more time it's coming into the carousel here just really awkward knowing when to get on the throttle and trying to keep it on the carousel I probably went a bit too uh, slow through there but it is what it is and now we're into the section I probably know the least and I'm probably gonna make a lot of mistakes in here but it is an absolute roller coaster look how fast this section is it's just it's insane but if you can nail the line through this bit huge amounts of time so Fortunately, you got to get like nearly six minutes into the lap, but yeah, that's just a bonkers ride. Look at it. This one, you can take quite a bit of curve on the right here to get it easier to get in for the corner, and then you got this next little bit here. Is some of the hardest bits of the course. Let it float out wide, so you can cut back to the left and then cut right, and then don't run too wide on this exit. And then this corner is faster than you think it is. But because of the crest and the curb here, easy to lose control, so just be careful. Break relatively early to bring it over to the right and then absolutely pin it through this next section again. Super fast. But we kind of got through the most difficult part of the lap. So you can almost relax. Important to, to get the turn in on that right. I, I probably should have hit the apexes a little bit better there. And uh, where are we? It's just flat here, absolutely flat. And then break pretty late for this, and then you've got to break again. That section again, I've made a mistake. You can run it out wide onto the runoff here, and the top guys even use a bit of grass for this entry into the mini carousel. It scares the hell out of me, can't do it. And now you just look in fourth gear, get this cut in right, and get on the throttle as early as you can getting the right lines through there which I clearly did not do is super important long drag long drag down this back straight so at the end of this straight you're gonna see me panic because I was two and a half seconds up on my best time which would have put me very safely into the current goal bracket and I panic and I almost cost myself a gold time. Come and have a look at what I do down here. You'll laugh. Really late. There's loads of time in here. Get on the brakes. Down to third. Oops, I went to second, second, first, second, third, fourth, third. Oh my god. And I've just lost all momentum to come on this uh, little finish straight here. But currently, 217.8 is gold just let's have a little look at this again oh my god what a mess what a mess so anyway guys that's uh, the end of that lap sort of track guide if you will uh let me know in the comments if it was any good to you let me know how you're doing let me know what your times are and if you enjoyed the video hit the like button if you want to see more hit the subscribe button all the cheesy bullshit and I'll see you guys in the next one.